Hello everyone, shout out to my newest buddy, Big E from Cummins. Thanks for the shirt, Big E. And thank you all for watching. So in this video, I have yet another rig expert antenna analyzer. Now this is the flagship of the stick family. You've seen some previous videos about the rig expert stick. This is the stick pro stick X pro up to a thousand megahertz in frequency coverage and shows you everything you need to know about your antenna. This is the flagship of the green family, they call it. So I know I've done a lot of videos on the rig expert analyzers and you can always save 5% with the link below on any one of these analyzers. Just type that code in at checkout at the link below. You'll say 5%. In fact, Eric in New York just did that. He bought not this one, the yellow one, I think the Stick Pro, the 600 megahertz version. So the flagship, this one is by far the best of the Stick versions. And what can I do in this video to make it a little bit different? Well, what I'll do is I'll, we're going to take this outside because I haven't swept my antennas in the last couple months on my vehicles. I've smacked a lot of stuff. We're going to, uh, let's see, we'll sweep my CB antennas on my truck. We will sweep the, uh, well, not the Tar Heel. We'll do the, uh, the GMRS antenna, which is the, which is the Nagoya. We'll see how that's held up. And we'll do the Comet that I've had for four years and show you all about this. And the best part about this is it's Bluetooth. It can go right to the app on your phone. You can see everything you need to do or everything you need to see with this antenna analyzer. And on the box, it does say a 16 hour runtime on one charge, no batteries. Now, back in the day, I did have a MFJ 269C and that did a lot of good for me. I, I traded that thing for something else and that thing was a workhorse. I've dropped that, banged it, it worked. But we're light years ahead of something like this because that just that unit took eight AA batteries. And when it got too low, it would shut off. This one can be recharged USB around the bottom. So let's do this. Let's, uh, instead of showing you about this right here, yes, it's a stick. You pop this off, there's an end connector on the top, comes with an adapter for an SO239 like this uh, or for a, what the LMR folks call it, UHF type connector. Uh, it is, the, the box does say, it's factory calibrated, color TFT display, compact and convenient, splash and dust proof case, user-friendly interface, 16 hour runtime on one charge, and it has Bluetooth. So I do like how they added this on here. Be brave like Ukraine. All right, Ukraine, you guys are uh, dealing with a lot of, lot of stuff, man. And uh, also, oh, I just saw here. And do we have, yeah, the little lander in here and a USB cable. So you have everything you really need here. And you know, in the last videos I've heard a lot of people say, man, those are expensive. I just use a tuner. Well, I could start that fight again and we can go through all that because that video has died already five years ago. Thank God nobody watches that anymore. I got tired of the, the barrage of emails of people telling me I'm an idiot and a you know what, and a, a this, this, and a that, that. We got into two or three word comments. I made this, this, this <laughs> because I like resonant antennas and I use antenna analyzers. Guys, have you ever wondered in someone like the LMR industry, like myself, why they don't have tuners? Everything in the LMR uses factory tuned, specifically tuned, precise antennas. Why? Well, that's a land mobile radio and that is commercial grade. We as amateurs can use a tuner to kind of make our radio happy for a 38 to one SWR. Or if your impedance is four ohms, well, make it right with a tuner. No. I use antenna analyzers to see what my antenna is doing and modifying that. So that's my rant there. And if we want to get on that fight again, I'll start another video on why I think resonant antennas are better than using a tuner and matching a stop sign or a piece of spaghetti out in the backyard to your ICOM 7300. Tuner's great in a situation that you may need it. A tuner can get me on the air with certain antennas that may require uh, that, that you know are resonant on maybe 40 and 15 or they're resonant on 10 15 20 but you want to use it on 30 can you do it with a tuner a lot of tuners you can like this one here that eric sent me i'll show you that in another video we won't talk about that yet but um yeah so let's go outside and sweep my antennas real quick and show you what this thing does and what it tells you about your antennas all right i gotta make this quick man it is just africa hot out here so the first thing we'll test is my 11 meter, whoops, 
11 meter CB antennas down here. We will take this off. Let's see if I can put this camera like this. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's dualies, by the way. All right. So, what can I learn from this? Well, if I can get this, I should be able to see it like that. All right. So, and we're going to change this. at 27 one so it's almost channel 19 let's see what we got 2.2 up in the sideband portion so right here we're looking at 1.94 to 1 at 27 dot 375 looks like I'm a little short. One point one nine at twenty seven nine seven so nine seven five. So I need to extend those antennas a little bit. The tuning pegs on the end. Um, I can get those extended a little bit, make the antenna longer, but other things like this. So you have a live Live count. All right, let's see. All right, so we'll go to single. And also, you can see your, here's your SWR, your return loss, 21 dB. So you got your impedance here, 42.3 ohms, your reactance, your inductance, your capacitance. Parallel model, if you wanted to look at that. Your phase. Okay, and then uh, so basically, what I could see is I could change the frequency here. Go down to uh, my God, it's so hot out here. Roughly where I do uh, channel thirty-eight lower side man, one point nine five to one. Return loss nine point eight seven dB. All right, let's go to. Something ham related so I don't get yelled at. Oh my god, I'm dripping sweat. Holy cow. All right, here's my Nagoya GMRS antenna here. And I'm also going to sweep the Comet SBB7, which has just been around the world about seven and a half times. We're talking like, you know, 185,000 miles I've driven with this antenna. And it seems to do well. We're going to sweep both these right now. So here is my Ushan, I had to start the truck for this one. My Ushan KG1000 um, for GMRS. And by the way guys, again, they don't make a tuner for a GMRS radio. Why? Because you wanna make sure that you have a good antenna. And then we have up here, the Icom 7100, which you've probably talked to me on uh, on various bands here, simplex or 10 meters. Okay, we're gonna sweep these antennas and see exactly what they're doing. All right, so the cool thing about this is you can go to ham. See, so like you have single ham, multi, and free. Single ham, multi, and free. So you go to ham, then you can pick the bands that you want. Watch this. 70 centimeters. Let's see what it does. All right. Not terribly bad. 1.4 to 1. That's absolutely acceptable. Two meters on this Comet antenna. 1.19 to 1 at 144.91 megahertz. Comet, you did a fantastic job on this antenna. I can't tell you how many years and what 185,000 miles of traffic and look this antenna is <laughs> actually almost perfect man and again we can go to a sweep like this there's my sweet spot at 145 
All right, well, you hit the red button here and go to TDR. So you can see on a TDR, a uh, time domain reflectometer, if you have any uh, imperfections in your coax or up to the antenna, return loss. You can get a return loss right here, look. Looks good, huh? RNX. See all kinds of stuff about your antennas, right? Not just, hey guys, I'm gonna throw a tuner on a GMRS radio because my antenna is nine to one. Doesn't work that way. All right, so under here is my GMRS radio. The Nagoya antenna from sent to me with this radio from buy2wayradios.com uh, has done pretty good in my range. I mean, I haven't swept it in months. If I can get it off here, there it is. Let's see what this thing looks like. All right, so we're out of the ham bandwidth for this one. So what we'll do is we'll go down to 10 megahertz bandwidth. Check it out. All right, and then we should be able to go like this and go to down to the transmit. Well, it depends, you know, with the GMRS. So, hey, we'll go right in the middle, 464.6. 1.26 to 1, not bad. One, uh, 465. 1.23. All right, so. You can get an idea if we go like this. And we go to return loss. Here you go. All right. So you get the idea of uh, what to do with an analyzer. There's a lot of stuff I can show you here. I can show you the Bluetooth app and all that. Comment if you want to see it on the Bluetooth app. I've done that before in the past, but you get the idea. So probably why I'm making such uh, good simplex contacts and stuff is because I have an antenna that has been beat to heck and it's still, it's even bent on the top. Look at that, I had to straighten it like five times. All right, but uh, the tar heel over there is doing well. No sense of even using that on the analyzer because uh, I run the screwdriver controller up and down and it gets flat everywhere I want on 11 meters, 10 meters, 12, 15, 17, 20, 30, 40, and six. So that I know is working because when I get a 1.0 to one SWR on my ICOM 7100, well, I can see that on the 7100. But stuff like this changes. And um, these antennas so far are doing actually pretty good. So are my CB antennas, which have also been beat to heck. But I could use per my analyzer to tune those just a little bit, all right? So, um, antenna analyzer is a good thing to have. I'm gonna head outside, it's brutally hot out here, but you can see the tower is coming along. Uh, I put it together, but uh, haven't had time with work and everything. So, if you wanna save 5% on any of these Rig Expert analyzers, look in the video description below. Use the code on that page for anything on Rig Expert, save 5%. And uh, thanks to Gigapart for letting me borrow this the flagship of the stick line, the X-Pro stick by Rig Expert. 7-3, everyone. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com.